doing part P B T method, which is self-sustaining method for self-sustaining enterprises. So example three, following our Contralatus financial statements, the appropriate exchange rates for year two, so it's the same. Sales, purchase, bond interest, other expenses were earned and incurred equally during the year. This would not have to say that. So interest would not have to say that. Translate Contralatus financial statements to Canadian dollars. Complete the consolidated financial statements. Again, we're going to focus on this, the translating, not the consolidation. Assume they're self-sustaining operation because it's functional currency, so it's self-sustaining. Functional currency is not the Canadian dollar, and so we'll use PCT. Statements on page 9, consolidated statements on page 10. So we're going to leave the calculation of the gain or loss and go to page 9 and fill in our rates and then we'll come back and do this calculation. So on page 9, I don't know what I'm doing here with the PAT, but it's PCT, not the A. Okay, so what we have is their statement again in Croons, room for exchange rate, the Canadian dollar. So, looking at page 3, and looking at PCT, it says, all assets and liabilities are closing, everything else is at historical. Bearing in mind, historical can mean different things for different transactions or accounts. So, let's just write that down. From page 3, all assets and liabilities are at close rate. Everything else at historical. Okay, so let's go through this and try and figure out um, what rates? So, everything on here is going to be historical, but what does it mean? Well, sales, historical, we found out was average. Cost of goods purchased, again, looking on page 3. Cost of sales, all of cost of sales, so opening inventory purchases, ending inventory, one rate, and it's historical. So it's historical, and they already told us all of it was average. Historical, average, because this together makes costs of goods sold. Now, depreciation expense is an interesting one. So looking at page 3, depreciation expense, historical. So. For PCT, in the expense was incurred. So, <coughs> depreciation is when expense incurred. So, when is depreciation expense incurred? We record it at year end, but does it happen at year end? So should we be using the closing rate? Or does depreciation happen throughout the year? Well, it happens throughout the year. So throughout the year, so it's going to be historical average. Bond interest expense is also average, and other expenses are average, and they're all historical. Now, <coughs> looking on page 3 again, because remember, those are your rules. A little blurry. Looking on page three again, where do we put the foreign exchange gain or loss? Net OCI for PCT. Well, it's OCI. So under here, we're going to have, and you can draw a little star beside it, currency translation adjustment. Currency translation 
adjustment and it's going to be a calculation. <coughs> then moving along, retained earning balance we know is historical, beginning of the year, net income is from the calculation above, dividends. So check page three again. Page three, dividends for both of them say when declared. So dividends are when declared. And then of course the ending balance is a calculation. Now on the balance sheet, all assets and liabilities are closing rate. So all of these are at closing. And all of these are at closing. PCT doesn't care if it's monetary or not, unlike FCT. <coughs> Common shares, checking page three is when they're issued. And retained earnings is inflation. Now, one thing you have to remember, <coughs> going back to intermediate, if you have OCI items, oh, and chapter two, also in this course. If you have OCI items, where do they get closed? We know all of net income gets closed to retained earnings, but OCI gets closed to AOCI. So we're gonna have AOCI down here, and it's also gonna be part of the calculation. Now here's the rates, just like in our other example. What's the one we always have to check for? Before acquisition. So this is before acquisition. So we don't use it. This is acquisition. This is closing. That's of course the average and so on. So let's put in our um, exchange rates. You probably want to use the video here and take and put in your exchange rates and see if you get them right after you unpause the video. <coughs> so welcome back if you pause the video. So here all these happen to be average. So we look at the average rate at the bottom of the page, it's 0.115. So this is 0.115 all the way down. Now, you are gonna have to calculate each of those because the whole purpose of doing this is to do consolidation. So we actually need all the numbers here. Now let's go down here to retained earnings balance, beginning of the year. It is December 31st year two, we need January 1st year two. Well, that's December 31st year one, so it's 0.128. Then we've got the calculation for net income and dividends when declared, and remember declared is the important thing, 0.106. Now, all the balance sheet, the assets, and liabilities are at closing. So closing is 0.104, so this is 0.104 all the way down for assets. And then the liabilities are both current, and common shares are when they're issued. Now it doesn't tell us issued. So they put at the beginning of the company's life when we didn't own them. What's the earliest we can go back? Acquisition. So earliest to use, it's point. Okay. So let's fill in some of the numbers and then um, I'll do the calculation on the other side just to kind of make the video work on. So just multiplying across, you get 1035. 
and then all of these are the average rate. Now remember, you guys, these may not always be average, like one average rate. It might have said sales are an so sales and cost of goods sold are we sell a whole bunch in the first quarter. So 75% in the first quarter, 25% in the last three quarters. So you'd have to break it into, I'll just do that for, for an example. You take 9 million and 75% would be multiplied by the rate from first quarter and 25% would be multiplied by rate from the last three quarters. Okay? Does that make sense? So, it might not be 0.115 all the way down. If it's sales, usually cost of goods sold, um, generally matches that because you'd have your inventory to match your flow of goods. But again, it might not be. <coughs> Don't forget if depreciation, if you just bought your assets in the last two months, you'd have to use the rate for the last months, an average for two months. And you get a good idea, you guys. They have to give you the rates down here. So there'd be average rate for over the last few months, November, year two, and it would say K equals point whatever. So you can get a sense of what you have to use down here, looking at all the different rates they give you. Okay. <coughs> so 851,000. 46,000 and 11,500, 5175, and 178825. Now, there's nothing missing because the gain or loss is down here. So we can calculate net income 34,500. And then we still have to fill this in to finish off comprehensive net income. So, 500,000 times 0.128 is 64,000. Our calculation for net income, it just comes down here. Does not include OCI because OCI gets closed to AOCI, not retained earnings. So that would be 4,500, and then 10,600 for our ends to get 87,900. <coughs> now, continuing on, you just go multiplying. Make sure we get everything in here. So this is 10,400 for cash. Accounts receivable is 41,600. Inventory is 166,400. And plant and equipment net is 83,200. <coughs> Excuse me. Which means total assets are 301,600. Continuing with the liabilities, multiplying across, you get 26,000, 46,800. 192,000 and then we need our retained earnings it comes down from here I'm not very good at drawing straight lines apparently and that's 87,900 <coughs> okay so those are all the numbers we're still missing the calculation for foreign exchange, which will also go here. So we'll fill that in in the next video, and I'll also show you how, if you didn't know how to calculate translation adjustment or foreign exchange gain or loss, same idea. I'll show you how to do that, given what we have here. Okay, bye.